Okay, before we talk about the formation of the universe, let's talk about what matter is composed of. So matter is going to be composed of atoms, and an atom consists of a nucleus that has electrons in orbit around it. The nucleus, in turn, is composed of protons and neutrons. Now, a proton or a neutron are referred to as being nucleons. And inside of a nucleon are quarks. So we think that the most fundamental particle that makes up matter is a quark. So notice that quarks are inside protons and neutrons. Protons and neutrons are inside of the nucleus. The nucleus is inside the atom. And then atoms compose planets and stars and galaxies. Now, above those, that picture there, you'll notice I've got a picture of an ice cube. And then if you were to increase the temperature on an ice cube, it would turn into a liquid. And if you were to increase the temperature of a liquid, it would turn into a gas. And if you were to increase the temperature of a gas, the electrons would start to come off, and it would turn into what's referred to as a plasma. So notice that as we decrease the temperature, plasma turns into a gas, which turns into a liquid, which turns into a solid. It's becoming more organized. So similarly, as we start to decrease the temperature of the universe after the Big Bang, the particles are going to become more organized. Quarks are going to become organized into protons and neutrons. Protons and neutrons are going to be organized into nucleuses. And then nucleuses are going to become organized into atoms. And then atoms, in turn, are going to start to make up rocks and minerals. So things become more and more organized as the temperature decreases. Okay, let's take a break. When we come back, we are going to uh, go through the history of the universe.